This is a demonstration of light color mixing using squishy circuits. To do this project, you'll need uh, several items, the first of which is the dough to make the squishy circuits. Uh, there are two kinds of dough. There's the conductive dough, which I've made in red, green, and blue. The recipe for this can be found easily online. Just Google squishy circuits. And the only difference between the three colors uh, is the a little bit different color food coloring added to each. The conductive properties of these three balls of dough are the same. Then there's a separate recipe for the resistive dough, which we've left white, so this does not conduct electricity. Uh, then to power the circuit, we have a nine volt battery and a header. And at the end of the header wires, I've soldered ring terminals to increase the contact area with the dough. It just makes it a little bit easier to get the, the uh, electricity into the conductive dough. Uh, you could achieve the same effect by using alligator clips or even just using the straight wires. It works pretty well, just a little bit easier with ring terminals soldered on the end. The last element you need is a red, green, blue LED. This is a common cathode LED. The cathode or negative lead is the longest of the four leads, and the other three leads are red, green, and blue. And I'll show you how to set these up to do some color mixing. Now we're going to assemble the project. Uh, the, what you'll need is a small ball of the conductive dough. And we're going to use this to connect the negative lead of the battery to the cathode of the LED and to keep from shorting between the cathode and the other lead. We'll surround the conductive dough with a ribbon of the resistive dough. And then we'll take long worms of the conductive dough in blue, green, and red and put them right up against this resistive dough here. And because they have to be close together because the LED is kind of small, I'm going to use a couple little balls of the resistive dough in between the different colors of conductive dough to prevent short circuiting. And that's pretty much our setup with the dough. And we're going to take the LED and bend the common cathode to the back and bend the red, green, and blue uh, anodes on the LED so that you can stick the cathode in the circle of dough and the red, green, and blue anodes in their respective colors of dough. And you'll know you've done it right if you take the battery and put the negative lead into the back and stick it in the conductive dough right there. And you can check to see if you've got the positive leads connected by taking the positive terminal of the battery, connecting it to the red uh, lead, the green lead, and the blue lead. And it's working. So that's pretty nifty. So you can see that you're powering the red lead of the LED, the green lead, and the blue lead. And be careful not to pull your cathode out. And not only can you make the different colors light up, you can do some mixing. So I'm applying power to the red lead, but if I then attach the red and the green leads together, I get yellow, which is what happens when you mix red and green light. Um, now what's happening is you can see that the closer I get to the red terminal, the redder it gets, or the orange and redder it gets. And the further away I get, the greener it gets. That's because the electricity has to travel through this much conductive dough to get to the red lead, but has to travel all the way through this much dough to get to the green lead of the LED. So you're experiencing different, uh, each LED is experiencing a different level of resistance and is receiving a different voltage from the battery. So you can try tapping the, oops, try tapping the uh, positive battery lead in different places and seeing how that changes the color. And you can do the same for the green and blue lead, if you mix them together, you could get kind of a turquoise, turquoise green color. And by moving the positive lead to different places, you can see it's very blue when I put the lead very close to the blue LED. 
and becomes less so. It becomes a little greener when I touch it to the green LED. And of course, you can connect the blue and the red leads together to get purple. So have fun experimenting with squishy circuits and color mixing. And remember, you can Google squishy circuits for the recipe uh, and other projects online. Have a good time.